What's going on guys? Joe here coming in from the island and today we're going to be talking about a mod and that mod is the Alpha Oceanic Platforms. Look at these. Are you tired of uh, building on land? Well, we got the mod for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so yeah, this is a great mod for being able to snap into place platforms right on the ocean. Now, um, I'll go ahead and show you a little bit how it works and what's included with this mod and what you can do with it. Uh, there's quite a bit of things you can build on these platforms. There are some pre-made platforms like this one right here that's actually a water pen for your creatures. So, I mean, it's a pretty good deal. Um, the only thing I'm not too sold on is they do look a little cartoony from up top here, but uh, I suppose once you build on them, you're probably all right. So first thing we're gonna look at here, this is the standard full platform, but uh, we'll go ahead and look at the Ingrams first off here. So let's go ahead and do platform. All right, so here they are, the Alpha Ocean, Ocean, Ocean Platform Cage. That's gonna be the cage in which you can uh, go ahead and put water pens up. It does take the behemoth gates, so they snap in right here to make the doorways, and there's four doorways, one on each side. Uh, the crafting cost, obviously, is, it's not too bad in my opinion. I mean, it's kinda of high on the middle, but let's face it, it's a, it's a big structure too. So. You're gonna be needing uh, 375 cementing paste, 25 polymer, and 3,250 metal ingots. The next one is the closed platform, which is the one I'm standing on right now. And that one you're gonna need 375 cementing paste, 3,000 ingots, 200 crystal, and 30 polymer. And then we have the open one, which requires 375 cementing paste, 25 polymer, and 2,500 ingots. There are some other things that are included with this, which I'll go over here in a moment. That's actually really cool. So in, it should let you pretty much expand on this or build something completely on, uh, custom on, on water. So uh, they do snap in place that are quite nice. So let's go ahead and place one of these, you can see. You can see. Does not want to snap there. There might be something that's causing that. All right, sorry about that, I'm back. I did find out what the actual problem is. There is a limit of six default that can be placed. And the reason is, is because if you are deloading this, so we'll go ahead and fly away for a moment here. All right, so now it's, well, only one's rendered right now. There we go. Basically what they're trying to do with having these structures as spawning in when you get close to make it less of a lag issue. So there is a maximum of six, so I'm not sure why it's counting it. Maybe, let's see, that's three, four, five. So I guess maybe the maximum is five, even though it says max in range is six. Um, so anyways, you can adjust that in your INI settings. There is an INI code for it, so you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want it to be. But obviously right now, you got a max of five in here at the moment. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the most exciting one, in my opinion, which is the caged one. This is the one that you can put down anywhere and be able to house your water creatures in it safely. Um, I don't have any of them put down at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one of these, and this is really cool, too. Um, the fear that you have whenever you build on one of these is that if I pick up the hit the button right here, Am I going to accidentally pick it up and just ruin everything? This is great. It's very slow. You have to wait for it, and you have to confirm it. So now that's full and it's blinking green, I can pick it up. So now that it's picked up, I should be able to place another one. So we're going to put down the cage one. There we go. All right, so this is the cage one. You can see now you can put your tames in here. Obviously, you need to close it off, so that'll be the first step here. 
Let's go ahead and put some behemoth doors down. Perfect. So now you can swim your tames on in. Keep them all safe within this enclosure. And you can even build it as part of your base. So that's how the, the caged version works. All right, so now we're on the just the open version here. And as you can see, I can put down ceilings, build this out any way I want. So if you wanted to have uh, an enclosure or a custom enclosure, I should say, you can go ahead and build it out any way you want. So takes the regular ceilings. Um, one thing I have noticed is you can place foundations and they're snapping off of that. But once, once you're on the area here, you can put these down, but they're not going to snap. I'm not sure why you need a foundation here, but you can do it. Uh, walls do also let's see here. That's roof, roof. Where's my walls? There it is. Walls snap too, just fine. And they also snap right here as well. Just like that. So you can kind of build whatever you want on one of these. Uh, all of them are equipped with ladders, which is kind of nice. So you can get right on out. And there's a ladder, something to keep in mind, there's a ladder on each side. So even from the outside, you can get in. If I could manage to hit that ladder. Wow. Well, maybe. It might be because I'm in creative mode. I'll have to test that when I'm out of creative mode. I'm not sure why. Might be also that I'm blocking it there. So let me try this one over here. Yeah. If you block it, it's going to give you a little grief, I think, in then. So obviously because there's a giant wall. All right, so we've covered the water tame cage as well as the open cage. So then we have the closed cage, which are not the closed cage, the closed platform. Um, and this one allows you to do any type of building on it. Again, like I said, placing things like foundations or anything out here, it'll let you do it, but it's not gonna snap. But once you get, and it's same with here, it won't, won't let you, it won't snap a foundation, but you can go ahead and snap walls. There's plenty of snap points here. So you can do pretty much anything you want within this area. So if you wanted to build, like this could be a walkway all the way around your platform. You can have walls. And then you can build a structure in the middle here. So there's a whole lot you can do with that. All right, there's one more other treat with this mod and that is their floating foundations. And here they are, you can do a floating thatch, floating wood, floating stone, floating metal and a floating tech. So that's really cool. What, what does this do? Well, this is gonna let you build anything you really want here. So I do have some floating stone ones here. So let's go ahead and take a look here. You can see I can place this thing pretty much anywhere on the water. Without the need of pillars. So I can do the whole works here. Can build a total custom floating base if I wanted to out of these guys. So this is kind of a cool concept. And again, you can do that with the thatch, wood, stone, tech, uh, metal. So there's a whole ton of things that you can do here. In fact, when I started playing with this mod, I totally didn't see those until the very end and I had already tried to build this bridge out here with metal 
and was like, well, why can't I get it to actually be right here? Because I can't just run up that. I have to jump to get up that. So I tried putting a ramp, nothing fit right. It was, it was just, it was just bad. So, but if you can see over here, if I build that out, I just step right up. I don't have to worry about it. So that could be the way that you can build a ramp right on to your platform. I can see a lot of great uses, breeding pens, uh, floating bases, take it out in the middle of the ocean, you know, and put it there as above maybe a cave that you're farming, all sorts of things. So um, I think it's going to be a great, great mod. I am actually going to be adding this to our server and actually going to be building some breeding pens with it. So that is going to be the next step for us. Well, that should be pretty much it here. If you've enjoyed this content, please go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and give me a comment. Heck, if there's a mod that you want me to review, let me know what that mod is. But speaking about different mods, have you checked out our video on max leveling your gear? There's a specific mod that's really fantastic called the Upgrade Station we did a whole review on, and I think you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be appearing on your screen right now. Go ahead and take check that out. Let me know, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.